we are out here with Eliza Jane. Yep, so, Buccaneer Homes. Buccaneer Homes, and we're at Adkinson Homes in Childersburg, Alabama. Let's go in and take a look. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so and hit that bell icon if you want to be notified when we release our next free home tour. And keep in mind, we are not salesmen. We're here because we like to tour homes. Sadly, my wife wasn't able to come. She's ready to go out with us though. So I might be dragging around a four-year-old and my wife before you know it, <laughs> letting her give you a woman's perspective like Kelly does for Heath. Yeah. But, but today they just got to deal with us, right Heath? Yeah, the two guys. Yeah, the two guys. So. I know they aren't going to like what we got to say about this, but right there's a 70 inch TV. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I can see it now. <laughs> Football or what are we watching on there? Definitely not the presidential debate, I can tell you that. No, we're going to, we won't, I don't know, we'll be catching the next two presidential debates. <laughs> so, that being said, in all seriousness, it is a good area for a TV. It's got the nice shiplap look, nice tin on both sides, kind of continues that farmhouse feel that you got on the exterior. Right here, though, is one of the new sleek, fancy electronic fireplaces. Okay. So it actually does put off heat, which is nice, but you don't have the hassle of firewood. Now, I know y'all, if you're like me, this is nice not having to do the work, but there's just something about a crackle of a real wood fireplace. But, you know, my wife, this is what she would go for. Yeah. So right here is going to be the master bedroom. We're going to save that for last like we always do. Here's the kitchen and the dining room and all that fun stuff. I think Whoa. we'll probably save that, don't you? Yeah, we'll give them a sneak peek. Well, let's, let's do the bedrooms. And all the way to the bedrooms, I guess we can point out the beam that's in the ceiling. Beautiful colored beam right here that matches your trim that flows around the top of the ceiling. It's not often that you see in these homes a dark wood trim around the top, but when they continue white throughout the house, it just kind of really makes it pop, separates it, gives you a more of a finished feel to the room. And if you look down at the floor in here, you have that nice barnwood style flooring. It's a vinyl flooring. And this is throughout the entire home. So this home does not have carpet anywhere in it. I know that someone in the comments mentioned that they did not like carpet because of the factor of having to vacuum it. Well, in this home, all you're gonna have to do is sweep it. That's for sure. So it's, you, it's still, it's got that farmhouse, but it's still got the techno uh, eco bee. Yeah, you got electronic fireplace and then you've got the nice you know, when you're too lazy to get up off your couch and change your temperature on the thermostat, you can just do it from your smartphone. I mean, that's pretty handy. That's right. So we'll go into this bedroom. We'll save the bathroom right here for last. Good size bedroom right here. Window perfectly centered. I've had some people comment and say that the windows are not ever centered in the rooms. And in this room, it's dead center. So just kind of keeps it very symmetrical. For those of you that are OCD like me, I definitely am. Good size closet in this room. I mean, that's a big closet. Oh yeah. More walk-in closets. There again, they have the nicer style doors and just a single panel door. Just gives it that more finished feel. So that would be the first guest bedroom. This is going to be the second guest bedroom right here. This one, the windows are not centered, but they put two, so it lets that much more light in. More than likely, you're not going to have a bed against this wall, and I think they took that into account. Your bed will probably be over right there here. On that wall, and but, that's why they have the plugs separated. Right but there. that would allow for like a bedside table right there, right by your plug. Yeah, you're so exactly right. Look, without it covering your window. You got to have your phone charging so you can change the temperature in your house. Yeah. <laughs> Another big walk-in closet. So right across from these two bedrooms. As you may have noticed, there is a nice guest bedroom, or bathroom rather, not bedroom. Got a nice sink in there, nice countertop, the single piece shower unit that you don't have to worry about leaks with, and above it you have a big window that lets in a ton of light. That natural light is something that is not, that should not be overlooked in my opinion anyways, especially if you're trying to reduce your uh, carbon footprint. So as we make our way back this way, what do you think? Are we going to save the kitchen and stuff for last or are we going to... Let's do the kitchen. Because Every, everybody likes the kitchen and then the big cherry on top. Yep. Now we will point out... This is going to be the master bedroom. Before we go to the wow factor, let's go to the factor that we get to talk to... Everybody asks this question about where is the ventilation? In this home, it is in the floor instead of the ceiling. Now one of the reasons for that may be because of this. Yep. That right there is amazing. The ceiling in this kitchen is by far <coughs> the favorite ceiling that I've seen. That right there is a wow factor in itself. Really brings home that farmhouse feel. And that's right around the turn of the century. They actually used 10 tiles yeah. in buildings just like that. 
And uh, I, I just love it. That's, that's a great factor. Not to mention the light fixtures in here. Oh, yeah. Looks like cast iron. There was a nice one that we kind of overlooked in the living room as well. It has the chandelier feel. And that's cool. It's kind of like a wash face above it. As the... Oh, it sure is. Yeah. It's because we were looking to see where we were going to put our TV. Yeah, we were too worried about that. Not, <laughs> you know, not the important stuff. Big island in here. You got... This is something that I, I do like is that your countertops go from the marble look to the wood look back to the marble. Just to give you a little bit of contrast for the island. They've got two stool stays here, but I can see where you could have three or four without a problem. That's one thing that Atkinson Homes does really well is they do a really good job of staging homes though. With the way they got their furniture laid out, it gives you a good idea of how livable the area actually would be. And the other thing is, is it's nice and cool here in Alabama now, but you know they've actually got air conditioners in their homes to keep you cool. Now this home has two huge bay windows directly over top of the large single basin farm style sink. And those windows, I could see you sitting here doing some dishes if you just had to because your dishwasher was full and looking out over a lake or a pasture. It just kind of gives you a really peaceful feel. This is cool, too. The light fixtures are, you know, mason jars or milk jars. That's cool. Anybody yeah. that knows us knows you like some jars. I do. I, I, I love <laughs> old bottles, guys. I, I just got to hang up there. So that's a big basin right here, big basin sink without a doubt. Tons of cabinet space in this home. These are big cabinet doors that have tons of room. These are about 8 or 10 inches deep. Plenty of room that you can put a dish in there without a problem, though, and shut the door. It goes almost up to the ceiling. Not quite, but these are really high ceilings. Yeah, so. if it went any higher, you wouldn't be able to put anything in there anyways. So. No, you're like 7 feet 10 inches. <laughs> so <laughs> so that's, a, that's a good style, the, the way that they've got them set up, actually. Now, this, yeah. this dining room that we're looking at right here has got all the light in the home right here because you've got five windows just around the dining room. really kind of makes it pop. There again, the, the nice light fixtures continue into here where they look like they've got a little bit of wear on them. That goes with that farmhouse style. That table looks just like a table I linked in one of our other videos. I'll link it again down in the description and the in the comments to see. I think I think I found that table for sale somewhere. <laughs> well, we're kind of working left to right. I know we just went to the dining room. We'll go back to the kitchen for just a second. And it kind of comes across. You got a really nice tile backsplash right here over top of the marble countertops. And this is probably 20 foot of cabinets down through here. There's no joke on that. So right above the stove, you've got a nice big hood. And that hood right there is made of tin. So that may be the only home that I've seen that with. So this home has some different factors in it. Between the light fixtures, the ceiling, and the hood range vent that's here, it's, it's just definitely a home of its own. The Buccaneer Home Builders did a good job with this home, without a doubt. Here's your farm style door this is kind of handy right here i like the industrial look hang your towels on and then you walk into the big butler pantry and this pantry is amazing it's a big pantry got the big open style shelves plenty of room you can put anything you wanted to as well as cabinets continued in here and i keep questioning what i'm doing wrong in life because apparently i'm doing something way wrong i don't know about you Heath. I don't have enough stuff to fill up all the cabinets in these homes. No, we've got enough stuff. Kelly, got Ke enough? Oh, oh, Kelly, enough. Kelly packs it out, dude. We don't, we don't have enough room in our house. Huh? <laughs> the four-year-old breaks us, so we can't afford that much food. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. we got a nice sink here in the laundry room. It's got the deep basin in it for anything that you want to do. Mega deep, probably about a foot and a half down in there. To the right, actually over here, is going to be where your washer and dryer will be. And then directly behind Heath is where the exterior door is. And what's nice about this is, and I've been pointing it out more and more, is when you have a door on the end of a home like this one, it's actually easier to be able to build a garage or carport on. You have a direct entrance from your carport at that, at that point, which is nice because you become essentially into your mudroom. So, not bad. Yeah. So, I guess all we got left now is the price. The hoorah. We didn't do the master, did we? No, we didn't. No. I was talking about price, and, yeah. and we didn't even... Didn't no. even look at the master bedroom. Don't get that far ahead. <laughs> <laughs> this will be a faster master bedroom. Yeah. It's similar style to the others. Plenty of room. Guess what? Your windows are centered in here. Plenty of room for a king size bed right in the middle. And I like that, that they're spread out. Yeah, it does. It, it, it gives you a little bit more room for sure to be able to move your furniture around wherever you want it to. Now, you're there again, we're missing the, the closet. Where's the closet at? Well, the closet in this home is on the other side of this big bathroom. To the right, you've got two big sinks, two nice mirrors, his and hers. And to the left, by far, my favorite shower that I've seen in a home. And the reason for that is 
The tile work has like rock included in it. So that rock just really sets that apart. I'm gonna climb over in here. Seen. Get a close up of that. That's super nice. That is cool. Now here's something cool. You got this big bathtub here. And guess what? Your windows above your massive bathtub, they open up. And if, if you're here in Alabama and the weather's been like it is right now, I can see flipping those things open and listening to the owls and whippoorwills. Yeah. To the right across from the tub is your toilet closet. And then, last but not least, I'll get out of the way so he can show you this. This is the massive closet right Ooh. here that we were missing in the bedroom. Oh, wow. Look at this bay. They, they, instead of being white in there, they actually went with the darker wood. Yeah. Kind of gives it that cabin feel, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, that's good size. So, all we're missing now is the price. The price. So, if you want to know the price of this home, and the reason that we're doing this is because that right now prices are fluctuating. So, the last thing we want to do is give you a price and it'd be wrong. Give a call to Atkinson Homes. We're going to leave all their contact info below. Jan is the manager here, and she will, without any hassle, give you the price on the home. So, be sure to contact her. Come visit this home here in Childersburg. It is well worth it.